first option, we will download this fabric and I have the fabric links below. Check it out. So I'm going to click one right here to expand this fabric. Now I'm going to right click and select save image as. After that, I'm going to type in the name original. Then I'm going to navigate to the fabric folder that I want to save. In this case, it's desktop. And I'm going to create a folder for it called Clove Fabrics. After that, I'm going to click on Create and come down here, select Save. Next, I'm going to bring the fabric to Photoshop. To do so, I'm here in Photoshop. I can either come over here to open or go to File and then select Open. After that, I'm going to navigate to the fabric I saved earlier. In this case, it's Clove Fabrics. I'm going to click on that folder to open and choose that fabrics. After that, I'm going to come down here and select open. So as you can see, we just brought the fabric into Photoshop and I'm going to come over here to this layer panel. I'm going to click on that layer panel and then drag to this plus sign right here to create a copy. After that, I'm going to click on the eyeball right there to turn it off. After that, I'm going to come over here to filter, then other, and hover the mouse to the right and select offset. That will bring up this offset window and I'm going to type in zero in the horizontal box. Then I'm going to press on the tab key on the keyboard and I want to type in zero in this vertical box and be sure this wraparound box is checked. Then I'm going to come over here to this corner, click and then drag it toward the center. And as you can see right here, we have the vertical line and the horizontal line, which we want to remove. To do so, I'm going to come over here to this offset window and I'm going to click on OK. After that, I'm going to come over here to this rectangular marquee tool, click on it to select. I'm going to click and then draw this rectangle box and then release it. Then I'm going to press down shift and then draw another rectangle box right here. And now, as you can see, we just select this perfect plus sign here. After that, I'm going to come over here to edit and then come to content aware field. Just leave everything as default then come down here and click on OK. And as you can see here, we just removed the lines. However, there's something we can improve on. I'm going to deselect by pressing down Command or Control plus letter D to deselect. The repeat part right here seems to be a little bit too empty. So I'm going to create like say a red car here or some a little more snow, something like that. So to do so, I'm going to come over here to this toolbar and select this patch tool. Click on it to select. So for this patch tool to work, I'm going to click and then draw like a circle. Okay, then I'm going to click on that circle. And then I bring it over to whichever area that I want to create that shape. For example, let's say I want to create this another, you know, fan looking thing here. Just place on that. Now I just drew a fence 
right here. After that, right here, I'm going to maybe create a little bit of snow or a car because right here, we should have another car around this area. So to do so, I'm going to this time draw a little bit bigger of a circle. Just drag and draw like that. And then I'm going to left click and then drag to the location that I want to make the copy. Let's say mm, I kind of like the yellow car here. So I'm going to hover the mouse over that yellow car right there. And as you can see right here, as soon as I release the mouse, this yellow car appear right there. And we can do a little bit with this little orange car right here. So once again, I'm going to click and draw this orange car, just a circle orange car like that. And I'm going to click and then drag and I'm going to bring it over here to this cover this kind of orange card right here to create that exact drawing okay command or control plus letter d to deselect okay so right here a little bit of improvement can be done because they should have like three white circle and right now we only see like you know two and a half so I'm going to click and then draw that circle right there and then click once again and then bring it over to wherever circle I wanted to copy. In this case, I'm going to just have it right there. And as you can see, we have the perfect circle right there. Let me command or control plus letter D to deselect. Looks like we have pretty good drawing so far. So. Maybe we can put a couple more dot right here or replace that. I feel like we can just maybe draw that green thing right there and find maybe something like here, a cane, just like that. And now as you can see, because I draw the circle was too big, I did not only copy the cane, but I also copy half of the arrow thing. So I'm going to remove that. To remove that is easy, guys. Just once again, draw the circle there. This time I'm going to click and then drag to the location, which is empty right there. So now the fan is disappeared. I'm going to command or control plus letter D to deselect. And so far, that looks pretty good. However, though, we can check this. I'm going to come over here to filter, done, other, and to offset. And once again, I'm going to type in zero in this horizontal, done, press down the tab key and type in zero. After that, I'm going to click on that corner and then drag it to the center. And I'm going to click on this down corner here and drag up to the center as well. And let's see anything else we can improve on. Okay, so as you can see right here, we can remove this black spot right there and add more fence right here. So to do so, I'm going to come over here to this offset window and click OK to close that window. Then I'm going to come over here to this toolbar and select Patch Tool. Click on it. And once again, click and then draw the circle around these four white dots right there. Left click and I'm going to drag that over this fence right here to make a copy. After that, I'm going to create another fan right here. Once again, click and then draw a circle. Then I'm going to just kind of drag over. I like this fan or maybe select the cane instead of fan. Let's just click the cane instead. And I'm going to 
Command or Control plus letter D to deselect. Next, I'm going to click this, kind of draw this area right here. Click and then drag to this area. I'm going to Command or Control plus letter D to deselect. Okay, so after that, we will export this fabric as a PNG file. To do so, we will come to File and then Export and then have the mouse to the right and select Quick Export as a PNG or you can select Export as. Then I'm going to see right there. PNG, perfect, transparency, awesome. Pretty much leave everything as is and come down here, select export. And I'm going to name that fabric fix, okay? Then navigate to the folder that I want to save, which is desktop and clove fabric. Click on it. Then come down here, click on save. And I'm going to click on save. Once again, to confirm the saving, now we're going to come to close. So I'm here in close. We will bring the fabric folder into close. To do that, I'm going to come over here to the fabric library and click on that plus sign right there. Then I'm going to desktop and select that fabric folder that we created earlier. Then come down here to open. All right. After that, I'm going to come over here to that library folder and then scroll the sidebar down here. And I'm going to double click on that fabric folder to open the fabric. Okay. So right here, since this is the fabric that we created earlier. So one is fixed and one is original. So I'm going to click that original fabric and then drag and then drop onto these pattern pieces and this texture map type window pop up by default texture is selected and I'm going to click on OK to confirm. Next, I'm going to come back and select this fixed fabric, click on it, drag and then drop onto these pattern pieces. And once again, texture map window pop up and the texture is checked. I'm going to click on OK. So we will zoom in and see how the differences of this fabric. OK, so first of all, the original fabric, as you can see, we have the horizontal line as well as the vertical line right there. However, compared to the fabric that we fixed right here, it's all clean and have no lines. So that's what we want. After that, I'm going to apply that fixed fabric right there on to these pants patterns. Okay, so let me zoom in to this pants pattern. So this is important here, okay? To make this pant pattern have the same realistic pleat fabric, we have to come to that pattern itself because if I select that pants pattern fabric right here, fabric property down here, let me scroll it down to this property editor. And if I scroll down here, you will see the physical property of that fabric is the pleat fabric. And that's what we want. And we want to only change the texture, but not the fabric property. Okay. We want the sweatpants have the please fabric property. With that being said, while that fabric layer is selected, I'm going to come down here to the property editor right here. And I'm going to come down here and scroll down until we see texture. So what it does, we only apply and change the texture of the fabric, which is the property of the fabric stay the same. So I'm going to select that texture icon right there. Then I'm going to navigate to that fabric that I have made earlier, which is this top clove fabric. And we want to select fix fabric. 
Click one to select. Then come down here to open. Okay, so as you can see right here, we just switch the fabric from this green gray looking fabric to this colorful fun fabric print that we created earlier and brought it in here. There you have it, designistas. Thanks so much for watching and check out the fabric links below. You can download and use it for your design.